The glassware for today's boozy vlogger was provided by mindequalsblown.net, bringing you music news, reviews, editorials, interviews, and everything in between. Blowing mind since 2009. That's mindequalsblown.net. Hey there, beer lovers. I'm Ben the Bearded Beer Whisperer, joined again today with Jason. And today we're looking at Shorts Brewing Company's... I forgot the name of this beer. <laughs> Well, it's... Bonafide legit. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> Bonafide legit is a light-bodied, honey-colored pale ale. It's brewed entirely with Michigan-grown and malted barley and summit hops. The excellent aroma is floral and has a fruity characteristic. Earthy pine and notable herbal accents coat the entire mouth, which is followed by a big resiny bitterness that lingers into the dry finish. It is a winter seasonal. It has 85 IBUs. It has 180 calories per 12 ounces and six and a half percent. So I came, I came about this beer as part of a uh, short variety pack, uh, graciously given to me by some coworkers. This is one of four beers that's included in the variety pack. I have tried this one previously, but I'm interested to actually like sit down and actually digest the beer and, and comparatively uh, rate it. It is a pale ale, and right off the bat, it is ultra hazy, but it is a nice sun golden yellow. The, the head, which Jay has way more than I do, it, it broke down very, it broke down nice. I mean, it's nice, it left a rim around his glass, uh, if you can see in the original pour glass here, it's, it's... Mm -hmm. I'm I'm enthusiastic about this beer just from the the color alone because it's you know mm -hmm. all Michigan made. So for the appearance, I'm enthusiastic about it. I'm gonna go with an eight. Yeah, I feel pretty good about giving it an eight. Just the, just based on the color alone, a very a very attractive color, very attractive head on the beer makes you just want to drink it. It does. It does. It's it's. I mean, it's weird that it's a winter seasonal and that it looks very summery to me. Mm. I think when we first started pouring it, like, the color of, like, pineapple came into my mind. I'll give you um, that. So, that is very strange that it's considered a winter seasonal. Very yeah. strange. So, it boasts that it's both a floral and citrus smell. I'm not getting much of the hoppy that it says, but I am getting a lot of the citrus. Mm. So definitely the pineapple theme from the appearance is still continuing. The smell makes me excited. I'm, yeah. I'm going with nine. Yeah, I feel really good about the smell. I'm going to give it an eight. I'll pull back a little bit on it, but I feel good about it. It smells really good. The, I believe that the smell is misleading because I don't actually taste any of the citrus. While they call it an American pale ale, I'm definitely feeling that that, that description works for me. It is a, it is a pale ale. It's, it's full of hop flavoring. It's got the nice... A nice bitter taste. It's got very crisp. The the fruit flavor that we get from the smell is I don't really get it too much in the taste, but very nice, clean hops taste. Yeah. Cutting through. Yeah. If you are an IPA fan, I would definitely suggest one of these. I mean, it's it's a nice IPA in the middle of winter, apparently, because it's a winter seasonal. So yeah. for the taste, I enjoyed it, but I might go with an eight. Because I feel like the citrus flavor that it boasts mm -hmm. should have been there. Yeah, I mean, I feel good going with an eight. I mean, just just going against other other pale ales, American or India pale ale. Otherwise, um, just kind of mentally putting it against those, I feel like giving it an eight kind of kind of puts it in like right in the middle of the pack of those really really good pale ales. Yeah, yeah, I would definitely put it up there. I feel that the palette is very iconic for a pale ale. It's just a little bit of creamy. It's got a good hop taste. It's got the good IBUs that hits you. I'm thoroughly enjoying this, and I would probably give it a four, maybe. Yeah, I feel good with a four. Like, there's nothing that really jumps out at you, but like, I think the the key word there is iconic. Mm. Like, you know that this is a, this is a pale ale when you drink it. I feel that this would be a nice change-up beer for me. As I've said in the past, I tend to favor stouts, and if I had had two stouts already, I would definitely, if I saw this on the list that's ready to be drank, I would definitely grab one of these. Just to change up the palate of what I'm drinking so far. I would definitely recommend it. I'm enjoying it, and I think my drinkability is going to be at least an 18. Yeah, I definitely, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say a 17. Okay. I feel like this is a, a good starter beer. 
not too happy. It's not like a, a double IPA or something with you know crazy hops coming through, but it, it's a good uh, starter beer. Has a nice clean taste to it, good smell, good appearance. This is the type of beer I would have with dinner. Um, or if I'm just having one later in the evening, this, this would probably be something I'd fall back into. You gave it a 4.5, I gave it a 4.7. It's a, a mid-range 4 to a high-range 4, so it, it's a very good beer in our eyes. I definitely recommend it. The name, for as silly as it sounds, definitely holds true. This is a, a very very solid beer. Whether you're just having one or maybe a couple or even as Ben said like hey in the middle of changing up maybe you're going from a stout. Uh, this is this is a good all-around beer something to to kind of uh, change up what you're drinking. Go ahead and try it. I always recommend it. So that's our show for today. I'm Ben the Bearded Beer Whisperer. Join today with Jay. Wishing you guys a safe drive home. Hey there, hopheads. I just want to remind you that if you like this video, click that like button. If you're new here, click that subscribe button. And if you have a booze, a beer, a brewery, or cocktail you want us to talk about, go ahead and leave those suggestions in the comment section below. <laughs> I'm bathing it.